Serrano, I want to lose weight and transform my physique. Where do I start? Don't worry, I got you guys. So here I've created this video on how to calculate macros to lose weight. So first off, what are macros? Also known as macronutrients. Macros are comprised of your main nutrient sources such as fats, which are for example, avocados, coconut oil, peanut butter, and nuts. Then we have carbohydrates, aka carbs, are for example, sweet potato, brown rice, and whole grains. And last, protein, which are majority of meat and dairy products. So you may be asking yourself, why do I need them? Well, fat is a nutrient your body requires to absorb vitamins and other useful nutrients. You want to make sure you're eating a balanced amount of saturated and unsaturated fats. So what about carbs? Carbs are a source of energy. This is what you'll be using to function at your best on a daily basis. And lastly, your protein which we all know are used to build just about everything your body is made up of, skin, hair, organs, and muscles. So now that you know, get you on track to kill your training and see the results you want. Step one, you wanna find out what your current weight is. And you also wanna find out what your daily activity level is. What do I mean by activity level? We'll take in the following numbers for example, 14, 15, and 16. 14 will be your light day where you'll only be working out once per day. If your day is a bit more strenuous because of work and working out once per day, then you'll write in 15. And lastly, 16 would be if you're working out once a day, lifting heavy items at work and in a sport. Step 2. From the previous information, you're going to use that same weight, multiply it by your daily activity level that you just found out. This will equal your daily maintenance calories. These are your calories to stay at your weight level. Step three, those same maintenance calories, you're going to subtract 500, which is a healthy average to lose weight. This should help you find out what your calorie intake will be on the daily basis. Now that you have that, let's figure out what your macros are for protein. You're going to use that current weight and multiply it by either 0.8 if you're a female or 1 if you are a male. This will be your protein intake in grams. Now, let's move on. What about your fats? You're going to use that same weight, multiply it by 0.3. This will equal out to your daily fat intake. Remember, you want to have a healthy amount of unsaturated and saturated fats. Move on to the last portion, which is figuring out your carbs. You're going to use that same information that you just found out on how many fats and proteins that you have left. You're going to multiply each one by its caloric value being 4 for protein and 9 for fat. You are going to then add them together to figure out how many calories you're using all together. You're going to grab your daily caloric intake. And you're going to subtract what you just found out, your fats and your proteins combined. This will equal out to how many calories you'll have left over to utilize for your carbs. Now, you're going to use this number, the calories left over for your carbs, and divide it by its caloric value being 4. This will give you your final result on how many carbs you're going to be intaking. Now, this should be your final result. Your daily caloric intake, your fats, your carbs, and your protein.